You know, there's already two Jason Waveses in the NBA. Soon there may be three. Jay Billis takes a closer look at the newest Jason Williams to star on the basketball floor. Why is Jason Williams the best high school player in America? Take a look. But there's a lot more to Jason Williams than what you see on the court. Hi, I'm Jason Williams, St. Joe's High School. I'm Dallas National Player of the Year. Welcome to my world. Jason's world is centered in Metuchen, New Jersey, St. Joseph's High School. At this all-boys school, the kid they call Jay is the big man on campus. So I'm Boy Wolverine, oh, playing a basketball team. Oh, Next Jordan. That's my boy, Horace. His name is George. I call him Horace, uh, his nickname. After spending time with Jason at St. Joe's, you realize something. Almost every student, from seniors to freshmen, consider him a friend. His outgoing nature makes everyone around him comfortable. This is my boy, Tony, right here. Tony! Tony! Yo, Tom, Tony. Hey. Hey, Tony! Everybody knows you. Um, everybody looks up to you as a little freshman sometimes, you know. Jake, out your autograph. It's weird, you know, sometimes when even your best friends ask you for your autograph, you're like, no, come on, you're like my best friend. Oh, like, oh, come on, who can autograph on the side? I, I guess it's good, though. While the nation may be just learning about Jason Williams, those around central New Jersey have known he's something special for a long time. How many kids do you know that have had their grade school jersey retired? Jason did. I just started to score a lot, and I could do a lot of things that people couldn't. Like, and me and Brian always used to work out in the backyard together, and we just see moves that we were both doing, like, oh, I never knew I could do that, you know? And it's weird because you keep growing and you keep learning different things and just get better and better each day. I've known him for six years right now, and there's not been one year I can't remember where he hasn't put in all the hard work. There's been summers that we've gone to parks like every day, and he's really worked on his game. I mean, whether working on his handle individually, anything, he just he really puts out hard work. The awards are numerous, the accolades overwhelming and well-deserved. But the McDonald's Player of the Year Award is based on more than just on-court excellence. It also rewards achievements in academics and outside activities. To Jason, his most impressive numbers aren't his points per game, but his grade point average and SAT score. He's worked harder on those than any part of his game. A-plus. Since my freshman year, I started to take academics more seriously, because I know the basketball's to do inflate one day. It's not always going to be around, and I'm going to need something to fall back on. So I really took my time and started to prepare for college and just get things straight with school, and I owe that to my friends and my parents. I think that's why he won the award. He, he's the entire package. There's more to Jason than just basketball. He, he's a real person. Uh, he's a good citizen. His grades are good, and, and he's got a great smile. You know, And that makes it that much easier to coach and, and to be associated with Jason Williams. He's been named the National Player of the Year, and he's joining Mike Krzyzewski and the Duke Blue Devils next fall. It would be very easy for Jason Williams to get a swelled head. In fact, you might wonder how he doesn't. The answer comes from his attitude and his ability to keep things in perspective. He's a great person. He's taken this in stride. He hasn't changed his personality. Uh, it's a lot of weight on a, on a young kid, and, and he's just worn it great. I'm the Dallas National Player of the Year, and there's a lot of pressure that comes with being that. A lot of people look at me in different ways and expect me to do certain things I can't do. But they just have to understand I'm a 17-year-old, like my mother says, and I'm still a kid. I'm still a teenager growing up, and I'm going to do the best I can all the time. 